Hey Colts, welcome to the very first episode of Keeping Up with the Colts. I'm your host, Sophia Stavis. And I'm Jessica Nieblas, reporting live from our bedrooms. Here's Kat with our club highlight of the week, Interact. Hey guys, so I'm Katya, and today I'm going to be interviewing George and Carla from Interact. So the first question that I, I have for you is, who are you guys and what is Interact? So hi, I'm George Zhang. I'm Interact's club president, and then... Hi, um, I'm Carla Moreno, and I am Interact's vice president. So basically, Interact is a community service club that is dedicated to putting service above self and really sort of just making an impact on our school, our community, and like basically the planet as a whole. So yeah, we have lots of volunteer opportunities throughout the year, and we look forward to working with you guys. That's super cool. Carla, would you like to add to that? Um, yeah, Interact, like George said, is a community service club that we have here at Covina. We are sponsored by Covina Sunrise Rotary, which a lot of people don't really know about. Um, we also, um, like George said, um, we provide a lot of uh, community service events for students to participate in and earn community service hours um, to make them a better person and to um, positively impact their community. Okay, yeah, that's super cool. All right, so to question two, I am a freshman, so if you're talking to a freshman, what is the reason why I should join? Okay, so the first thing that we really, really want to in, in like ingrain in our newest members is that Interact is really like a family sense of community and it really like makes such an impact knowing that like something that you do might like really make someone's day because what we do like we go often to help a lot of people who might be like struggling or like who might need that sort of like encouragement and it just really feels like an incredible experience to just know that something you're doing is making someone else smile. And even though it might not seem like a big deal to you, it can really like impact someone's day, month, even life. Yeah. Wow. I was just touched. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So question number three is, what is your favorite volunteer project that you've had so far? Mm, Carla, do you want to take that one? Sure. So for me, my absolute favorite Interact uh, event has been Thanksgiving at Rayan's. And it's an event that we have usually um, like Thanksgiving Eve and Thanksgiving itself, in which Interactors go to Rayan's Water Company here in Covina, I believe, or West Covina. And we basically give uh, warm meals to families in need during the holidays. And um, the reason why I personally like it so much is because we usually see a lot of like people of color coming in. And as a woman of color myself, and I used to be in their shoes when I was younger. And honestly, it just meant a lot to me knowing that I was helping people who, um, people, <laughs> what am I trying to say? People, um, sorry, take your time. <laughs> like, Okay, hopefully Ethan cuts that out. Um, <laughs> it, it just gives you like this warm feeling inside knowing that you're helping your community and people like from my community. Oh my yeah. God, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> that's good that you like provide that sort of like comfort for them during the holidays when like they don't have it from other people or they're like their families. Mm-hmm. All right, so for the final question is, this is like a free-for-all, so is there anything else you'd like people to know about Interact? Anything fun, anything, the way you guys make them feel, just anything? Mm, let me see. If you guys are interested in sort of learning more about Interact, potentially joining the club, you should definitely, fo definitely follow us on Interact and Twitter. We are at Interact Colts. That's Interact plus Colts as in Covina Colts. And... Basically, on our Instagram account, we have lots of lots of announcements for new events, membership applications. The membership application is actually in our bio. It's a quick Google Forms. It takes about, at most, five minutes to fill out. So, yeah, if you guys are interested, please, please.
please just sort of, oh my gosh, Ethan, please cut this out. Okay. <laughs> Start again here. Um, basically, so if you guys are interested in joining the club, please fill out our membership application. It's about five minutes. It's in the bio of our, of our Instagram account. And yeah, we look forward to working with you guys. Yay. All right. So I think that wraps up this interview. It was so much fun talking to you guys. And All right. Thank you so much for having us, Kat. All right. Yeah, bye. we really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You guys did a great job answering the questions. Thank you so much, Kat. Now on to our sports updates brought to you by Stephen, Ethan, and Yair. Take it away, boys. Hey everyone. Stephen Lona here with the baseball updates. Uh, I'm going to go over the Dodgers and the Angels season. So, so far, the Dodgers have won 25 games and they've lost 10. They hold the best record in baseball right now, and they've won four of their last five games, so they hope to keep that up. And the Angels have won tw 12 games, but they've lost 24. They are in last place in their division right now, but they've won three of their last five games, and they hope to keep it up. And I hope that both teams have a good season. Hey, everyone. I'm Ethan Fan, and I'm going to be covering what has been going on in the NBA recently. So teams are still in the bubble fighting through the playoffs, and so far we have seen in the Western Conference, the Los Angeles Lakers won 4-1 against the Portland Trailblazers, the Los Angeles Clippers won 4-2 against the Dallas Mavericks, the Denver Nuggets won against the Utah Jazz 4-3 in a really close and intense Game 7, and the Houston Rockets are currently tied with the Oklahoma City Thunder 3-3, which means that this series is on their way to a Game 7. In the Eastern Conference, the Milwaukee Bucks beat the Orlando Magic 4-1, the Miami Heat swept the Indiana Pacers in a four-game series and are up 1-0 to the Bucks in the semi-conference finals. The Toronto Raptors swept the Brooklyn Nets in a four-game series, and the Boston Celtics swept the Philadelphia 76ers and are currently up 2-0 against the Raptors in the semi-conference finals. It's truly looking like anyone can take home a championship this year. Now here's a quick commercial break before we get into soccer. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's never, it's loading. Oh, here we go. All right, we're live. We're live, everybody. Here we go. Hey Colts, I'm Mr. Falkenberg, and this is the staff of the Vermilion, our school newspaper. We are busy creating content for you to enjoy while you are distance learning at home. We're really excited to connect with you online this fall and are looking forward to this school year. Hi, my name is Karina. I'm a senior, and this month I'm writing a news article about how the freshman class of 2024 feels about beginning school virtually compared to the senior class of 2021. You can check out the Vermilion for news articles, editorials, reviews on books and music, and much more. Hi everyone, I'm Jaslyn, I'm also a senior. Our link to social media is at CardinalYBK, so make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. All right, go Colts, woo! Yay! Yay. Yeah! <laughs> hey sports fans, Yay yeah, Yellow here. For those who enjoy soccer as much as I do, you must have heard or seen that Bayern Munich from Germany beat Paris in the 2020 finals from one to zero. Now it was a very intense competition between these two big teams, especially when two of the players of Paris, Mbappe and Herrera, would pass the ball to each other as if they were the only two on the team. Also, one of the players from Bayern kicked the ball up in the air, which led to one of his teammates, Coman, to head bump the ball and score the goal. It was a really great game. Thanks guys, that was awesome. Now on to Kevin Nguyen to show our student feature. We asked you earlier this week to send in your art and here it is. Hi Colts, my name is Kevin Nguyen and I'll be taking over reviewing our student highlights where we asked our students to send in their artwork over on our social media platforms. Please follow us at Covina High ASB on Instagram and at Covina High ASB on Twitter. Now to begin. First up, we have Jessica and can we just take a moment to admire this painting? The accuracy, the detail is just phenomenal. 999 forever, legends never die, you'll be missed. Beautiful painting, Jessica, keep it up. And follow Jessica's painting account on Instagram at Jessica's Artwork for any DM increase and to see more of her beautiful work. Next, we have Kaylee Bernola with her calming drawing of a deer. Nature is beautiful, and just like this drawing, possesses many qualities of the beauty of nature. 10 out of 10, Kaylee. Continue progressing and expressing through your art. I love the drawing. Then, we have Mariela Cervantes with her painting of Tweety from Looney Tunes. Oh my gosh, my childhood. 
Sweetie was so iconic, but this painting is gorgeous. Mariela, what you have is talent, and this painting is absolutely one of a kind. Next, we have Vivian Nguyen with her goddess-like elegant drawing. If you've never seen Vivian's drawing before, you're honestly missing out. This is beautiful. That work, the effort, the detail is out of this world. Keep it up, Vivian. Your drawings never fail to amaze me. I love it. Then, we have Chloe Pareta with her realistic, heart-shaped, three-dimensional balloons. Can we appreciate the shading? Leonardo da Vinci would be so proud. Chloe, I love this drawing. It sends such good vibes and is beautiful overall. Finally, we have Sophia Picard with her take on the Corpse Bride from Disney. Sophia, oh my god, you went off! The shading, the detail, the aesthetic is so eye-pleasing. And it's so elegant, like your drawings are always so good. I honestly could never... Love it, Sophia. Keep up all the work and the effort you put into drawing. You'll see great things one day with a skill like that. Thank you, everyone, for watching my segment where I viewed our talented students at CHS's artwork. Kevin Nguyen, out. Thank you so much, Kevin. Now, on to story time by Little G. <laughs> hey, Colts. Welcome back. This is Mr. Gustafson, and um, I was asked to share an, an embarrassing experience that I've had with, with uh, education. And the one I wanna share with you is not when I was a teacher, cause I've had some before, like my first year teaching, I literally tripped and fell walking back to the whiteboard and uh, started doing pushups to play it off. But that was not a fun day, but I had one that was worse than that. Uh, when I was in college, it was my very, very first day of my freshman year in college. I'm at the University of Laverne and I thought I was going to an introduction to uh, music class. And I'm musically uninclined, terrible at music, don't even know how to read it, play it, nothing. So I walk in and immediately the professor walks in um, and he's wearing like a, like a tuxedo with a bow tie, goes straight to the piano, starts playing the piano and singing and hops up and starts lecturing 45 minutes straight, just hardcore lecture. I'm taking notes. I feel like it's a different language, don't even know what he's talking about. And then he looks at me and he goes, Hey, I want you to go to the piano, you go play this chord. And I, I've never played the piano in my life, so I walked over the piano, I just like hit one key. He looks at me, he's like, it's a chord. So I hit a couple keys. And then he looked at me and goes, really? So then I took my hands and I went across the whole keyboard, like all the way across. And then he goes, sit down. So I sit down and he says, what class do you think this is? And I was like, isn't this introductory to music 101? And he, then he looks at the classes and say, how many guys in here are music majors? And every hand flew up. And I was like, hmm. So he brought me to the front, the, the door of the classroom. And on the door, it clearly said music 101. And there was an arrow pointing to next door. And apparently my class had been switched and I was sitting in the wrong one. And um, so the teacher had a wonderful time bringing me into the next class and making everyone in there who was other freshmen with me well aware that this bozo on the first day of school didn't find the right classroom. And uh, so that I, I was, good news is that's about the, the lowest you can be in college and everything was a lot better than that. I just want you to know that, you know, when you're here at Kavina High, you always have, you know, people who care for you and will be there for you even when you have embarrassing moments. And I hope everyone has a wonderful uh, first day of school and a start to their week. Uh, and go Colts, have a great year, bye. And thank you guys for watching. We will be here every single Wednesday on our YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms with our usernames right here down below. Thank you guys. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.